Okay, so we're doing a little error analysis on this, which is another way of saying we're doing uh, spot the error or find the error in this answer that the person gave us. So let's just, uh, let's just circle the answer that they gave us. The situation says a worker has dug three holes for a fence. It will take 15 minutes to dig each additional hole. That implies that it's taken 15 minutes to dig the original three holes as well. Okay, so your friend writes the rule right here, the total number of time, uh, total amount of time in minutes is going to be equal to t, is going to be equal to 15n, the number of holes, n, times 15, because it takes 15 to, to dig each one, plus 3 for the three holes that were dug. Okay, now, the error of the friend is that, yes, it du they dug three holes, but how long did it take them to dig those three holes? And really the trick is, if it's taking 15 minutes to dig each hole, then three holes dug at 15 minutes each, that's 45 minutes. So you really want to have the rule saying that the time is equal to, yes, 15 minutes for each additional hole that needs to be dug, but those first three holes did not take three minutes. Those first three holes took 45 minutes because we know that each hole takes 15 minutes to dig. So then this becomes the rule. Three is the number of holes, not the number of minutes it took to dig those holes. So that was the error. This is the function rule for it. Now, and it says describe your friend's error. You're going to write that in words. So we would say, um, we would say the time to dig three holes was not three minutes. It was 45 minutes. So the constant added should be 3 times 15 or, sorry, I'm running out of room here, or 45. And I wrote it like that because I have a button at the bottom that you can't see, but it's there. So, um, so the constant added should be 3 times 15 or 45, and that's the error.